ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Lakeland Vale Let's Play series with me, See What He So here in Farming Simulator 19. We're joining Dolores again. It's just gone noon on day five of spring. Um, as promised in the last video, we're going to go do the mowing of field five, um, which I was hoping to do in the last episode, but sadly ran out of time. Um, so we'll come down here to where our pig area and cow area will be. Obviously we'll be visiting this area later on in the series when we start adding these animals. As well as placing some placeables into this area. But for now folks, what we've got to do is mow this grass. And then get it collected up. Or, here's a crazy idea. Why don't I try and make it into hay? Hey, 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 hey. We don't have a tedder at the farm currently, and we don't have a windrower. So that means I will have to take a trip to the shop to buy some vital critical equipment. Um, in which case, if I'm going to be doing that, I don't need to worry about swath dropping, do I? However, one thing I do notice, again, like a lot of the equipment that um, poor old Dolores Fluffily Boffin has started with. She hates it when I call her Fluffily Bowl. But, one of the things I do notice, having started this Let's Play series, again, because this equipment, because this machine, this mower was handed down to us by the previous owner of the farm, it came as part of the, the entire purchase of the farm, the fields and everything, all the equipment. It was an, like an entire estate sale, like an estate sale. Because of because of that, um, this machine doesn't have GPS. <laughs> it doesn't have guidance steering. So it's going to mean when I am mowing and trying to do nice straight lines and swath drop and stuff, it's... Uh, not going to be that easy. What I will do as well, once I've... Um, I don't know if... Once I've mowed this field, I don't know if the weeds will regrow on it or whether I will have to spray it. I've got a horrible feeling that with seasons, weeds do grow on grass fields again. In the vanilla game, um, the first time you mow a grass field, weeds will never grow on it ever again. Um, that's just the way that is. <laughs> it's just the way that works. One of the things I probably should have done, as well, as I was doing this field, was um, consider doing a proper headland. Which is something I'm going to probably do now. What we'll do is we'll ted all this grass because it's a dry day. It's a lovely dry Texas spring day. We've not had any rain. Um, one thing as well, I don't know if you've noticed or not in this series, Dolores doesn't have the little Wopster handheld tool thing for measuring the fields and crops and stuff like that. Um, she's not actually going to use that. I'm not actually going to use that in this series. Um, <laughs> she's just going to kind of wing it, <laughs> wing everything. Um, so yeah, we're not looking at the little handheld gizmo. At all. But we will be... Uh... It's the same as the crop rotation in the seasons menu. Dolores isn't really going to do crop rotation patterns and things. We're pretty much going to plant what we want to plant. And if that affects the yield a little bit because it's the wrong crop to plant after whatever was on the field previously um, tough luck <laughs> we're not doing the crop rotation the important thing is to harvest what we need to harvest plant what we need and harvest what we need in this series 
especially if Dolores is going to be all self-sufficient, not using workers and stuff. Oh, that's the only problem when you, you're driving in first person and you're not using GPS because the vehicle doesn't have it. You end up missing great big patches of the field. Now I want I do want our first mowing to get most of the field. In fact, I want our first mowing to pretty much get all of the field. Like I said in the last video, mowing is going to be done in real time. That's why the game speed is on one time speed at the minute. I want to be able to get this field mowed. I then want to be able to get it the grass um, tedded, wind road and collected without the risk of it, you know, without the risk of it rotting. bail it just yet and start ba doing like bales because I don't have the building to store the bales in um, I will be getting a bale storage building um, I have got my eyes on one I want to use in the series um, which is going to be pretty good for storing straw hay and I think silage bales or is it straw hay and silage or is it straw grass hay and silage I don't know. I think it's straw, hay and silage. Um, again, it's something I might look at tweaking. Because generally speaking, I'm probably not going to do silage bales. Although we might do. Um, again, the, the, the wonderful thing is with things like fermenting silos now being so prominent in the game the need to actually like wrap grass and collect wrapped bales and leave them to ferment um, is something that's not really that needed same as um, uh, putting grass into um, bunkers and then faffing about compacting it and then covering it, waiting for it to ferment. You can save yourself a lot of time and a lot of work by just grabbing yourself a, some, uh, a fermenting silo. And we have a couple to choose from. We've got a couple of global company type ones. We've got a, a couple from them. We've got um, another mod maker's done a couple. And then obviously Stevie's got his own, which he's made for exclusively for this map and specifically for this map. So I've got those installed. Um, so it's just a case of what's going to fit best on our farm. Like I say, Dolores could bulldoze the uh, um, uh, bunker that we've got currently on the farm and put in a fermenting station there. Or if not necessarily a fermenting station, Maybe she could put the digesting station there for making digesting, which could be very useful. So then if we get into the realms of we want to do natural like fertilizing, slinging slurry on the fields. As opposed to using liquid fertilizers or chemical fertilizers. Because here's something that has um, come to light in recent days and weeks. Playing on the multiplayer server with Mr. Helgi, we have found that if you um, put slurry or digestate on a field and then immediately, without doing anything else to the field, go over it with a normal fertilizer spreader, 
it actually registers both fertilizers even though you haven't changed the ground state like you, you haven't plowed you haven't cultivated in between it does actually count as two separate fertilizations now if you used a regular fertilizer spreader and then went over the field with a liquid fertilizer sprayer that doesn't work that only counts as one fertilizer process and will only give you one fertilizer state however like i say if you use manure compost slurry or digestate and then immediately go over the field again with the either the sprayer standard fertilizer sprayer or standard fertilizer spreader you get two lots of fertilizing now in the past normally what we've done especially playing with seasons where you've got to get hit three fertilizer states is fertilize straight after harvest then we've either plowed or cultivated the field we've then well we've not we, we need, we've normally plowed the field we've then gone and slapped the second fertilizer on at that point we've then cultivated the field to lock that in and then we've seeded and that's normally with a seeder that applies the the, the final and third um application so basically you've got fertilize plow fertilize cultivate seed five processes five steps that you have to do well now we can shorten that because after harvesting we can slurry fertilize plow or cultivate and then seed we can actually save ourselves one process by using by using the excellent tools available to us now i'm going to quickly remember to grab a screenshot <laughs> whilst i've got the mower out and i'm missing all the bits So I'm going to get this fertilised. Now the one disadvantage obviously to not using the little handheld tool is I don't actually know what the um, crop moisture level is and how wet this grass is. I don't think the grass is very wet. It should be very wet. But we'll see. Well, we will then need to get this field fertilised. So possibly our first run out of the fertiliser spreader. I think I've still got some fertiliser in the silo, so I don't need to run up to the farm to buy fertiliser, because obviously we, we did buy 10,000 litres in pretty much the second episode um, which we didn't use fully for seeding and planting first year so we've got enough to be able to fertilize this grass field again we could also spray it uh, no we can't because we haven't got liquid fertilizer we've got herbicide remember got to, uh, got to remember to keep track of what i'm doing where i'm at yeah, we don't have liquid fertilizer at the moment. We have some of the other stuff <laughs> and things. Um. Grass is going to be mowed. thinking to myself right we're going to need a nice tether and we're going to need a nice wind rower a lovely lovely wind rower to make life on our farm handy so we're going to have a look in the store 
probably take I'll probably take the big case magnum up to the store actually we've used the little guy in the last video to do the uh, weed spray we've also used him a couple of times to do the um, uh, mechanical weeding when I leased the machine um, but what I think we'll do we'll take the big boy up to the store purchase a a mechanical weeding contraption device thing and then we'll um, come to this field and, uh, wait for the hay to appear Let's see if we're keeping this machine if we're not going to sell this machine off and replace it with anything else um, what I may do is look at buying um, is 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 getting it retrofitted with GPS but actually that's probably something I could do right now I mean, it's not terribly important, I suppose, to have GPS on this. Because the fact of the matter is, we have got GPS on the tractors. Which means when I'm tedding and wind rowing at that point, I can get nice straight lines. This can be used just for pretty much flying and floating around doing what it does. Mr. Magnum. A lovely case, Magnum. Case IH 380 CVT. Put my beacons on as we're about to go on the road. I know we're not pulling anything, but still. <laughs> I know people are going to say, traffic doesn't drive down there. But hey, you know. Try and keep it a little bit real. <laughs> Agricultural slow moving machinery should always have its beacons on, on the road to warn people. And what they should periodically do as well is pull over to the side of the road to let vehicles pass them instead of causing, you know, 20 mile long tailbacks because they're holding up all the traffic all the cars and lorries and buses and everything else that's using the roads please can i have a tether and a wind rower i want a tether and a wind rower tether 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 I don't want the class one. I don't want the class one. Uh, they're all pretty slow. That's 8.7. That's 13. The Pottinger. We will probably go for that then. It's 27 grand. It's not terribly expensive. Wind rowers, hopefully. Yes. <gasps> We've got the Crow Swadron. do that adds design three design two adds the chrome thing design one adds the front bits uh, I think that adds everything I'm gonna have design three um, have the little strobe lights maybe um, yeah we're gonna buy one of them that's a bit more expensive Ooh. But that's gonna be very util util you for useful very useful right I love how the steering wheel move then 
So we'll take the wind row, we'll take the tether first. We won't crash into the stop sign. If we can help it. Perfect. Right. Back to the farm. And then we'll do the magical tedding application. Which I'm probably gonna definitely time lapse. Okay, folks. So join me in a second for that footage. Okay, so that's the tedding done. 
obviously just need to drive up to the store to collect my wind rower. I can't use the wind rower just yet. Because obviously we've got to wait for the, the grass to actually turn into hay. But at least we'll be ready to do the wind rowing fairly soon. And then we can get that grass loading wagoned and picked up. And uh, get that hay put into storage. Oh, forgot to put my beacons on again. Bad Doris. Bad Dolores. Anyway, I'm going to go grab the wind rower from the farm. From the shop. And drive it back to the farm. We've probably reached the end of the episode. Now with the time lapse Teddy. We'll probably bulk out the last part of the video. For quite a bit. So, I want to say thank you to everybody who has watched this video. Thank you to everyone who has been watching the series so far. And um, I hope you're all enjoying it. I hope you're continuing to click that like button for me on each video. Go ahead, smash that like button. I also hope everybody who watches the video is subscribed to the channel. That way you get to stay notified and up to date whenever I post a new video in this series. And if you are in need of more lovely see what he see what he so um video content after you've watched this video feel free to go to the red channel and check out some of my other videos and some of my other let's play series you might find something else you like there um also feel free to leave your comments questions suggestions feedback anything you want to say in the comment section down below and don't forget as well to share this video wherever you see fit and with whomever you see fit this has been the Lakeland Vale Let's Play series. Ugh. Gonna crash on the way back to the farm. Um, we are slowly working through spring. It's not gonna be long before we're into summer. And once we hit summer, um, there's probably gonna be a lot more contract work for Dolores to do. Fertilizing. Hey, hey, hey. Money, money, money. And then we can start to get on with things like that. So at this moment in time, I'm just going to take this and park this um, over here. And then that's going to be the end of today's episode, kids. I probably am going to remove as well that building. I do want to remove that. I do. I want to, I want to move it. And I want to play something else there. So that will probably go too in the next episode. And we'll probably get a few more little placeables put into the uh, farm instead. So thank you, everybody. I hope, like I say, you have enjoyed the video. And I'll see you again very soon for some more farming sim content. Goodbye for now.